In this show video, I'm gonna show you the new champion coming into Clash Royale, the Goblin Stein. And I can tell you already, this champion is absolutely crazy. It's hard to understand. I still don't get it 100% completely, but I can tell you guys this card will be really exciting. And we're gonna take a look at this card. So it's a Five Elixir. Double card, so kind of like a little prince if you're like putting the ability on. You have like a big tang on the board and also like a small supporter. But this is like, not you don't get the support with the ability. You still have it or you, you already have it on the map. So it's like a two card champion. The cooldown ability, which you guys are going to see here, the lightning link, electrifies the link, damaging any enemies that get near. Shocking is doing a pretty, pretty much damage. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Radius of 2, air ground hit speed, and so on. And also, the ability cooldown is 15 seconds. If you kind of compare it to other champions, um, I think it's like the second fastest. I think like Monk has like 17, Archer Queen has like 18 or something. No, also, okay, 15, okay, 15. Mighty Miner has 13. Yeah, and the Golden has like 8, Skate King has 13, uh, 30, and Little Prince has 30. So, this ability is pretty fast, or like in the middle of the fast way. Compared to the other ones, and actually, what, uh, what Super says is saying about it, it's alive. Monster Lambas towards enemy buildings while Doctor awaits to spring the trap. At the press of a button, Doctor electrifies a link between himself and the monster, firing nearby enemies. So it's basically like a shockwave line, a lightning line with the ability through, or like in the same line where the uh, monster is. So, for example, the monster is there. <laughs> what is this stupid thing? The monster is there, <laughs> the doctor is there. It's actually gonna go like in a straight line between them. So, this is like a perfect sign, we're just gonna take a small look there, so this is like actually the monster there and the doctors behind it, and we're just gonna you pop the ability now because the goblins are there and also the means are there, and so like in a straight line actually lightning shockwave is coming, also hitting tower, but also at the same time hitting your own um, your own troop, like your own Frankenstein, your own Goblinstein, which is really really interesting. This is the kind of stats on tournament standard, hit points 885, range damage 9, so the damage on the Goblinstein isn't really too crazy, but I would say we talk enough. We're just gonna go to some game and this card is crazy weird. So guys, we go to the game number one here versus Call of the Legend with the Goblinstein. So I'm just gonna use it here in the back. It seems like it's a card which is pretty solid against spam decks. Um, oh, what? You can actually split it in the back? Okay, interesting, interesting. So it's like kind of the only champ which is like two cards. So we have like the Goblin. Star on the left side and the kind of support guy on the other side. So he's just gonna get some chip damage on top of that. Um, okay, so is it worth it to use the ability there? So I feel like it's not really worth it to use the ability. So the goblin, like the goblin or like the Frankenstein, however you want to call it, is kind of like, uh, I would say, okay, I'm just going to use my ability there. Is it working? What the heck? Ah, okay, it's going to go. Ah, I see. Okay, it's actually going to support the... It's actually gonna support the Frankenstein in a way. Okay, I see. But I was dead already. So, okay, it's always supporting him. It's always supporting him. I see, I see, I see, I see. So, okay, okay. It makes sense, makes sense, makes sense. Okay, it doesn't make sense. I don't know, but it's actually happening. So, I'm just gonna go zap there. Just kind of kill it. Yeah, I thought, honestly, it has also some solid amount of life there. So, I'm just gonna go for my Goblinstein. I'm also gonna use my ability. So, I'm just gonna use the ability there. Should be really solid one. Yeah, just immediately shred everything. Um, you have to go Phoenix there. Okay, so... Man, this is interesting. I feel like the cooldown is pretty quick, man. It's a pretty quick cooldown as I feel like. Okay, I don't know, man. The thing is, like, I didn't know that you can actually split it. Like, of course, there's, like, little prints where you also get, like, a second card out there. But it's, like, kind of the main ability, right? So it's kind of the first card where you're actually able to... Um, what is happening now? Okay, that was a really bad ability. I don't know, bro. It's like, honestly, like, I like to drink fucks like their ass, bro. I'm not gonna lie, I like to drink really fucks. But I don't really think, I don't know. So far, it doesn't look that good, man. It's like a really interesting concept. I would say it's like a harder card to explain. Or to see, kind of. In a way. But I don't really think, like, it looks good against spam. Because then the ability with the shockwave just kills everything. But against speed on, I don't know. It doesn't feel... It doesn't feel that good, bro. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think so far about this card, man. Of course, we're playing against Golem there. But against Golem, I don't know. It doesn't feel too good. So, he's just gonna, like... The Shockwave, man. What the heck is even happening there? I can't even... I don't even know what's happening, to be fair. So, he's just gonna use the Shockwave there and just, like, shred everything. Ah, it's always on this type of line. Okay, I see. Interesting. Okay, I see, I see, I see. I'm just gonna use my another Goblinstein there at the bridge. Now I'm just gonna try to use the ability again. Bam. Okay, I see. 
But now my own guy gets slowed. What the heck, bro? What is this card? I don't, I don't, I still don't get it. So it seems like when you're like also looking at the card stats or like at the card thing, he's always kind of throwing his lightnings or like kind of shockwave um, the, across the line where the actually the, how's it called? Um, the big monster is. So you always kind of want to have it like behind the monster when the opponent's going to play like Goblin Gang and so on or Skeleton Army. It should do really, really well there. So in this type of sequences so i'm just gonna go goblinstein there i don't know man is it smart to play goblinstein like that bro i don't really think it is <laughs> is it smart to spare so what what's gonna happen when i'm like using my ability now i kind of want to see it. so i'm just gonna use ability now what's gonna happen okay it's also it's like gonna go this way bro what the heck is this wave bro and how much damage is gonna do okay one four okay it's like over 100 damage kind of tournament standard so not really too much, not really too bad. I'm just gonna go for my pump there. How much damage is this shit doing? Okay, one more. Okay, it's honestly, okay, 100 damage as well. So he's just like, man, he has like his controller in hand and just like doing stupid stuff. Interesting. Okay, interesting, interesting, interesting. So I have to kind of remind myself I shouldn't split this, um, I shouldn't split this card in the back. Um, because it doesn't make sense. I'm just gonna go barbs there now. Barbs are gonna come down. Making sure to defend this and also the same type we got. It's pretty solid combo with free barbarians. So I kind of want to go like for my Goblinstein behind this. Um, of course, I could play E-Drag, but I kind of want to see out what the Goblinstein is going to do. So, okay, so he's actually going to do this. Um, shouldn't this be like an opportunity for me to go? Okay, I'm just going to go Tornado there. Okay, it's actually going to go time for Goblinstein now. So, the Goblinstein is going to be able to do what the heck? Okay, that was a broken ability! What? The freaking heck, bro! I can't deal with these cards anymore. It just feels like it feels like an Electro Dragon, also kind of in a way, right? So, man, what was the shock, 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 shock wave, bro? That was crazy. So, I guess next up, just Electro Dragon there. Okay, I'm just gonna go Belly Healer, and I might just go and throw my gold in the pocket. No, okay, what's happening? He's if I'm just gonna use Barbarians there. Okay, he's just gonna use the shockwave. Okay, honestly, in this type of sequences, okay, it seems broken. Maybe I'm just so stupid to understand this card, but sometimes it's, it looks stupid, so I'm just gonna use it here. Okay, man, actually, the tower damage is crazy from this stupid stuff. Okay, hmm, I don't know, bro. Maybe like if I'm like watching this gameplay to understand the card, but I feel like it's a bit weird concept. But after like I don't know, like after playing a bit, you kind of get to it. Um. But I don't know, bro. It just feels like it just feels like really weird, bro. It just feels like really weird in a way. I don't know. So I'm just gonna go Goblinstein again there. I think I'm just gonna pop the ability immediately. So I should pop the ability immediately. Okay, it seems like it's not gonna reset the charge, bro. Okay. I don't know, man. It's an interesting card. It's a really interesting card. Let me know as I said in the comment section what you guys think. You guys think it's broken. You guys think it's bad. Um. Or something in between. So he's gonna go fireball zap there. Okay, this is not optimal. I think we might have lost this game there. But of course, just like kind of showcasing a card. Okay, maybe not. We do have. We do have, we do have evil e drag. Okay, he also has evil e drag. Can my e drag a target him first? Oh no, evil e drag destroys my peach. Hmm, I'm honestly not sure, bro. This card is... It's a weird concept, bro. Um, I first thought it's like a little prince, but like it's not really... I mean, yeah, okay, it does like kind of like... You have like a tank on there, but it's like kind of the ability is like kind of... Um, I would say like the ability from the prince kind of makes the combination of like the monster and the kind of doctor behind that. Um, but of course, then you still have the ability there. I don't know, bro. It's interesting. I feel like it's a really interesting card. I don't know. It's hard to say, bro. It's really, honestly, for me personally, hard to say if this card is really good or not because it's just like so, 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 so weird to kind of give an opinion on this card because I honestly still don't really understand 1% um, to understand all the interactions. So, and of course, it kind of also, it's pretty hard to do in a video. But let me know what you guys think about that. Um, okay, so... Let's see, I'm just gonna go for my skeleton army there. I kinda wanna see what is he gonna do. What is gonna happen? So. Okay. 
And he's got an army still just pretty well against if you're gonna get immediately on top of that. So he goes in for this. What am I have what's happening when I'm using my Mega Knight there? Mega is gonna come down. He just like kinda kills in a really good way. And now I'm just gonna go Goblin Gang there. And we still got a pretty decent counter bush, okay. Taking us here. And it seems like it might be already dead for him. Okay, he was a bit too aggressive, not gonna lie, but also like kind of considering it cost five elixir. I think he was never a champion in Hall Show when he came out, cost five elixir. Of course, we had like Will Prince, three elixir, we had Monk, four elixir at this time. Um, we had the Skeleton King, four elixir, Mighty Miner, four elixir, or Queen, right? Queen was five, five elixir. Okay, I'm actually stupid, and Queen was pretty broken. The Queen thing is like with Queen. Um. This queen cost four or five elixir, bro. I'm kinda. I lost my mind, bro. I lost my mind. Cost it. Does it cost four or five elixir, bro? I, I, okay, we're just gonna use the ability there. Okay, interesting. I know, it just feels like. Okay, it kills the baby dragon. Um. I don't know, maybe it's also not that bad against that, so I have to check it out on my phone. Okay, I'm just gonna go Skami. Um. It has to cost five elixir, I'm a stupid. Okay, it cost 5 elixir. I was like, bro. I was like losing my mind for one second. Okay, I'm just gonna go for my Goblin Gang there. Goblin Gang is gonna come down. But I don't know, bro. I don't know. Maybe I'm just too bad. What is happening when I'm using the ability now? So I'm just gonna use the ability now. So just gonna... Okay, it's always like the, the, the line there. Okay, so everything which is gonna get into line is just gonna get that, uh, killed. Um... Okay, I'm just gonna go for my skeleton army there. And in case he would use the ability, um, I think everything would also die in this kind of line. So, uh, it's an interesting card concept, bro. Honestly, it's an interesting card concept. I don't really think it's like that broken. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't feel that broken. Maybe I'm just too bad. So I'm just gonna use immediately the ability again. Okay, it's not gonna do anything because he plays the troops to the side. So I feel like it's gonna be really important if you're facing this card to play your troops on the side. You don't really play on the top of that. You kind of want to play to right or left because if you do that, um, you kind of make sure that um, the value, as you guys can see here from like called legend example, is not gonna get uh, directly on top of your troops to, to actually counter the monster. The funny thing is, I was just talking to Carl Legend on WhatsApp in the client chat and he was saying, bro, I don't get this card. Because he's actually saying it always seems like the Goblin's line gets targeted from his own ability in a way, which is like kind of true. So it's weird. It's really, really weird. And I still don't know if it's going to be like a main, like, I don't know, like a bridge spam card. Is it going to be okay? I'm just going to go use my Goblin's line there. And I'm just going to use my ability now. So what's going to happen? So the ability is going to come down because the Goblin's is kind of walking. You see, it's always kind of the line. It's always like a straight line between the Goblin Stein and the. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I just call him Doctor, bro. We're just gonna call him the Doctor, bro. The crazy Doctor. And it's 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 so crazy, bro. It's like crazy, 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 crazy. So, using my banner there. Mm, can I support this in a way? I'm just gonna go zap. Can I cut? I'm also gonna use my heal spirit there, like why not? Just to make sure, okay, we're kinda of gonna be able to get some value out of that. He actually called my deck, bro. You can't do this. You can't do this. I'm just gonna ghost. Ghost gonna come down. He doesn't Mega Knight, so I feel like this is really good because he has to go skeleton army and skeleton. Okay, no, he uses it. Okay, that was a really man, that was a really good defense, but at the same time the ghost gets like on top of that. So I'm just gonna go Goblinstein there. He's just gonna use okay. I'm just gonna use my ability there. So Goblinstein. Oh, that's a really what the heck, bro? What the heck, bro? What the heck, bro? What the heck, bro? Is this card, bro? I don't know. It's Goblin. I don't know. I, I just feel like because it's like it's it looks so weird. Um, I honestly, my I just do the call. I think it's gonna be broken. I don't know. I just like. I still don't 100% understand the card. You guys, do you guys understand the card completely? Let me know in the comment section. I reckon not. I reckon not. Um, but I feel like just like for the call, for the content, for the clickbait, I just feel like it will be broken in a way. I don't know, bro. I can't believe Supercell is putting out a champion when it's broken. Little Prince was completely broken. Arch Queen was broken. Golden Eye was broken. Skelly King was also broken. Um, at this time, it was just like kind of overshadowed by the Queen. The only champion which came out was broken was Mighty Miner. Or like Monk was also completely broken. So I feel like it's a really safe bet to say this card will be broken even if it looks like hard to understand. So I'm just gonna go use my ability there. So we do get like the immediately chain there. And it's crazy like how long actually the chain like range is, bro. I feel like this is, looks maybe a bit broken, bro. So you can just kind of play your card like your card is defending there. 
like this, like, um, and the monster is just gonna go up all the way and gets on top of, uh, like, something, um, and then the opponent's gonna play Skami there, and you're gonna be able to actually counter it while you're still at the same time defending and also, like, kind of hitting the troops, which are, like, the opponent's gonna uh, attack with, so the range is crazy. Okay, so I might just go for my Goblinstein there. At the, okay, I'm just gonna go Goblinstein there. I'm just gonna go pop the ability. So what's gonna happen? So the Goblin ability is gonna like go on top of the Mega Knight there and just kind of immediately shreds it. It's also gonna, bro. That was like so much damage. That was so much damage, bro. And also, you can see the ability time is not gonna come out. Okay, so what's gonna happen now? I'm just gonna use my ability now. Okay, what's gonna happen now? The ability is gonna come out. Okay, I actually fought first the ability hit the ram. Okay, no, just like the connection between them. So if you're like able to get the, the, the monster like on top of like on top of the opponent's half and you're still defending with the with the crazy doctor, um the ability actually gets a ton of favor. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this card. It looks really interesting and might be broken at the first I thought it's gonna be really bad, but I feel like against Swarm it mainly looks really, really, really broken. Also you have two cards. Um five elixir, I know. I just feel like from from my I think it's really hard to say, but it, it has to be broken, right? It has to be. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Goodbye, I'm out.